Hello friends, welcome to your very own channel Sony Synthesis. In this video, I am going to discuss a method of transfer of heat that is convection and peculiar behavior of ice. Why and how? Let us see that. When you take ice outside the freezer, ice starts melting. From the surrounding, heat starts moving to the ice. When you take ice on your palm, then also ice starts melting. From your body, heat starts flowing to the ice. When you take ice in a glass of water, then also ice starts melting. In that case, heat energy from the water starts flowing to the ice. So in all these three processes, one thing is common that melting of ice happens when from the surroundings heat flows to the ice. And this is one of the best example of convection process. But ice has very peculiar and different behavior than other substances. Other substances in general, after solidification, it condenses, but ice expands. In general, after condensation, density of substance increases, but for ice, it decreases. So how and why? Why it is like that? We will come to know that. So that is our first question. Why ice expands after freezing? In freezing, water molecules arrange themselves in a rigid hexagonal shape at atmospheric pressure, due to which its shape becomes cage-like and there are spaces as we can see here, whereas water molecules remain in linear shape. So that's why water expands after freezing. When we compare the intramolecular space between hexagonal shape of ice and linear shape of water, in hexagonal shape, more spaces are there. More space means less density and less density means it will float. That's why ice floats on water. Ice has maximum density at 4 degrees C. Why? The reason is below 4 degrees C solidification process started and then linear structure of molecules start arranging themselves in a hexagonal shape. That's why. Why does ice have a different structure than water? The structure of liquid water consists of molecules connected by short lived hydrogen bonds because water is a fluid. But in ice the hydrogen bonds become permanent. That's why it has a different structure. Bonding of water and ice molecules. As you know, water has two hydrogen atom and one oxygen atom. Two molecules of water can form a hydrogen bond between them. The oxygen of one water molecule has two lone pairs of electrons each of which can form a hydrogen bond with hydrogen on two other water molecules. What is hydrogen bond? A hydrogen bond is a type of attractive intramolecular force exist between two partial electric charges of opposite polarity. Opposite polarity means one should be positive and other should be negative like this. But if we compare the strength of hydrogen bond, it is weaker than covalent bond and ionic bond. As the name implies, one side of hydrogen bond there will be hydrogen and other side there should be electronegative atom like oxygen, nitrogen, fluorine etc. So basically hydrogen bond is responsible for all the peculiar behavior of ice. Friends, I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you have any doubt in this topic or anywhere from physics, just write in the comment box. I will get back to you. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to your very own channel, Sony Singh Physics.